Hey everybody, Tony D and little Joan here with a hot take. Uh, this is Cardi B <laughs> being interviewed by Joe Biden. Yes, this actually happened. They decide L magazine decided it would be a good idea for the rapper, the female rapper Cardi B to interview Joe Biden. As you can see, Joe Biden is just thrilled. I hope you can see it. I hope our, are we blocking the, uh, let's make sure we're not blocking this, John. I don't think we are. I don't think we are. Oh man, I can't do both at the same time. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can see the sour expression on Joe Biden's face. I mean, he just, he just looks like a beaten man. <laughs> Cardi B looks so excited. Um, and I assume, uh, she, put on her longest fingernails for this interview. Uh, she also just released a single entitled WAP, which stands for Wet uh, A uh, Female Privates. A word for female privates. Wet A. Yes. That's her single. And everybody on the internet's talking about it because... It's an incredibly vulgar song. <laughs> and this is who Elle Magazine said, oh, you know who'd be great to interview Joe Biden? Cardi B. This is just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, look, I get it. It's Joe Biden, the nearly 80-year-old man trying to connect with young voters. But this is not the way to do it. This is not the way. All right, Cardi B... I mean, look, she's smart in her arena. She's made a lot of money. She's a famous rapper. She's she's making good money. But I don't think this is appropriate, okay? I mean, at this point, this is the only way, I think, to get people to watch an interview with Biden. <laughs> but uh, I don't think, uh, you know, Cardi B is the person to do this. She's not... You know, she, in this interview, um, the, and this is clips of the interview posted by Pop Pop Crave or something. Yeah, Pop Crave. And she goes on and on about how she wants somebody to give her answers and a timeline when all this will be over and not to lie to her because she thinks Trump is lying for her, lying to her. Therefore, you know, the Democrats won't, I guess. But, you know, there's no real logic to that because Democrats lie, all politicians lie. So you're not, she's one, she wants like a total solution to the problem, but she can't possibly get it. And, uh, you know, the virus itself, a lot of scientists and doctors are saying it's endemic. You'll, you'll never get rid of it. Uh, but some doctors are saying there is a cure, hydrochloroquine. And for some people, you'd have to take the Z-Pack and the zinc with it. Um, you know, an early treatment is key for a lot of people. But that kind of information, I think, for someone like Cardi B, is instantly dim dismissed. Because she, in, and this is just my opinion, she is working on the information that the mainstream media is giving her. Because... This really isn't about getting information for her. This is more of a promotional for her. This is to promote her albums and her, her music. And there's nothing wrong with that. Except that, you know, it's, in my view, it's fake. It's all fake. Is she really concerned about this? Maybe. But she's not a researcher. I don't expect Cardi B to spend a few days on the internet digging up real questions for Joe Biden. What I expect to have happen is Elle Magazine and her people put this together and she said, ooh, that'll be fun. And then, you know, her and her assistant spent a couple of hours coming up with questions based on stuff they they saw on television or, you know, read on the internet. But like, you know, CNN, MSNBC, like all the mainstream sources. She's not going to dig for answers. She's not going to hit Biden with a bl and blindside him with a question that he's going to go, oh, no, I don't know. 
not, and I'm not saying she's stupid. I'm saying she's just not going to bother to do that. Because like all celebrities, this really isn't about the issue. This is about her promotion. If this wasn't a good promotion for her, why would she do it? Right? If this was an interview with Trump, which would hurt her career, then it would be different. Because then you'd be like, wow, she must really endorse Trump because she's hurting her career by doing this. Because a lot of her fans would be pissed off. But the fact she's going with Biden... It says to me that, well, she's going for... Now, she might genuinely support Biden, and I think she probably does, but ultimately, you know, everyone in Hollywood, everyone in the entertainment industry says they support Biden, although a lot of them, I think, secretly don't. Um, so, because otherwise, it would hurt their brand. Their fans would get pissed. Twitter would go absolutely ballistic and I think it's you know for and if you listen to WAP her new single it's one of the most foul mouth things you'll ever hear now I'm no prude I like the song I think it's kind of okay <laughs> it's really dirty though um, and uh, you know it's kind of undignified I think this whole setup I mean it would be like you know, Clinton taking an interview from two live crew back in the day. Just, it's just inappropriate. She is not in this realm. She she should not be interviewing a candidate for president of the United States. Uh, uh, Biden is seriously desperate to get a young vote to take this interview. She also endorses uh, Medicare for all and free college. And um, then she ends with something like, and I don't want to see black people get killed. Okay, yeah, that's great. And she wants new laws and new new things to make things fair. And it, she speaks in these generalities, even more than me, that indicates to me she doesn't really know what she's talking about. She's kind of just an average person in that area. And she's just saying she wants things to be normal again. And she, wants, she doesn't want to see people killed. And, you know, those are fine aspirations, but this is sort of a ham-fisted way to go about an interview and endorsing a guy who, quite frankly, he's not up for the job. I mean, look at him. It looks like it's hurting him to be in this interview. Okay? It looks like he can barely keep his head up. And, uh, you know, he's trying to look concerned, I guess, but he just looks like he's having trouble. You know? He's having trouble processing this. And Cardi B is trying to look excited, I guess. And this is a whole, you know, image thing for both of them. But come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> this is just, it's silly. It's absolutely insane. This is like Ali G interviewing Joe Biden or something. It's a joke. You know, you can't keep treat this seriously. It's bad enough when comedians interview these guys. They give him all these softball questions. I mean, Stephen Colbert's interview with uh, Kamala Harris was oof, oofa. And and he ended up stymieing her unintentionally. He, he's the biggest supporter of anyone but Trump. And even he ended up like cornering Kamala and making her kind of look bad in that interview. This just looks sad, man. Looks very sad. And look. I mean, Cardi B, you know, could have come in this and, and asked some amazing questions, but she's not, you know. Um, this is just, it's just sad. Uh, this is just, I mean, search it down on Twitter. Uh, it's under Pop Crave. This is just a cut of Cardi B going on and on and on and Joe Biden looking like, you know, he ate a bug. It's just... Uh, and it was re retweeted by Nick Fad, Who, I don't know. I don't know why this popped up in my feed. Oh, it was retweeted by somebody else. <laughs> and Nick Fad, who's an African-American himself, says, The black community is now taking political advice from a stripper who drugged and robbed men, can barely speak proper English, and encourages... Are young girls to be materialistic hoes? What could possibly go wrong? Well said, Nick. 
um, and if you watch her WAP video, you will say, yeah, uh, that's pretty much what she does. Inappropes, Biden camp, inappropes.